We're just over the Colorado border from Utah. We are at Highline Lake State Park and they have a swim beach where we are going to put a small boat in the water. It's a beautiful state park. It's very green this time of year. It's May currently. This is the day use area. Lots of picnic tables, barbecue grills, restrooms over there, and the campground is right behind it. You will need your camping fee and your state park pass or your day use pass to be in the state park in Colorado. Nice. Hey! <laughs> going. I really love the boat. I love paddling. Emily thinks that's pretty hard, but uh, I don't think it's that hard. It did take a little bit of practice, okay, a lot of practice to get going, but I'm pretty good at it now. Sometimes I will turn around without meaning to or something like that, but I can steer fairly well and I can move forward pretty easily. It's pretty hard not leaving your paddle in the water while you're either turning with one, because all your attention's on this hand, you kind of forget about this one, or uh, when you're just paddling like this and you stop, sometimes you leave them in, and that's not a good idea because you go flipping all around. It wasn't that tiring. Emily's out there in the boat taking a nap right now, so clearly she thinks it's pretty exhausting. But. I don't think it's that bad. It takes coordination, but it's really fun. To play. I'm feeling it. Whoa. The state park near the campground has two swim beach areas that have shelters, picnic shelters. There are restrooms up there, interpretive signs, sheltered picnic tables. The two swim areas are really close to one another. If one was too crowded, you could head up to the other one. It's right there, about a hundred yards away. There are a lot of nice shade trees here. They do not have electric at the sites for the campground. They do have water in the campground, but not at each individual site. They do have a laundry facility, which is surprising for a non-electric campground. They do have uh, clean restrooms. You can buy firewood, you can buy ice. There are tent sites and trailer sites both pull through and back in. The pull through ones are a little tricky though, uh, if you've got a longer rig, because they're these curved pull through sites, rather than a straight pull through. The sites have picnic tables, grills, and it's only a short walk over to the restrooms, the showers, and the laundry. Just over the hill, about 200 yards, are two swim beach areas. And the lake for boating. The boat ramp is not accessible from the campground. And overall, it's a really nice state park. The visitor center is just a short walk from the campground, maybe 400 yards or so along the roads and the trails. Let's go inside and take a look.
Emily. Are you Anna Emily too? Structure with fire starters and some sticks you find around if it's allowed to gather them. Also, of course, we've got logs. It starts out big, that's enough to catch the logs, and then the small stuff dies down. Yes. And we have the bigger logs that are burning nicely like that. And we have lots of marshmallow roasters. I roasted my marshmallow on the fire, which I just made. I'm gonna let it die a little bit, keep it at low flame like that. Hopefully keep it alive. I wonder if they want s'mores. I know I do. I'm roasting my second marshmallow to make a no s'more. That's it for this adventure to Highline Lake State Park. Thanks for joining us. Hit that subscribe button and join us next time as we homeschool one adventure at a time. <laughs>